Yeah. So we have a, a standard test that uh, we have. We have listed these. Uh, these are listed on on the website too. I'm sure, right? Yes. Yeah. So we have. Um, we are prepared uh, for the basic testing methods in case of automotive and industrial consumer testing. Definitely. Yeah. So uh, it's we can go for the emission testing. We start at nine kilohertz and go up to six gigahertz, yeah. And uh, as well for the immunity testing, where we start at, uh, depending on the test method, but we're starting at one hundred kilohertz and go also up to six gigahertz to have the full range um, capability for for the testing. And yeah, this is typically you find an overview on our web page, and if there is something missing. Yeah, please ask, get in contact with the team uh, and we will check in what is possible uh, because the whole range of all standards and all testing methods, it's very big. So it's, uh, yeah, and quite often we can help on this as well or find some solutions where we can do definitely investigations or uh, yeah, optimizations with maybe a alternate, uh, with a different test method to come to a to go because in the standard it's defined what you need to fulfill but it's not defined how you get to the to this uh, okay we, we're always talking a lot about emission testing where you're talking about our products dc dc converters yeah right it means uh, i have uh, for example uh, this conducted uh, conducted emissions yeah testing because our I, uh, our switching regulator is a noise source yeah? uh, right. by definition yeah um, <laughs> it's uh, it's switching and switching uh, uh, has noise uh, or produce noise yeah um yeah uh, I don't know if you know the, the background about this uh, what's the problem I, I maybe I can I can show you here um uh this is this is a picture here of the a voltage measure, measurement of the of the uh, switch node. It means the okay. rising rising edge. Yeah. yeah. Normally, um, um, this is a time measurement. It means oscilloscope measurement. You see the voltage and uh, the time. Mm -hmm. And we what we doing in the EMI or EMC is we transfer this to frequency. So every signal. Uh, can be is a sum up is a sum of different sinus signals. So so it's a it's uh, you can you can get the signal the signal out of a lot of sinus signals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that means um, and as uh, it's it's faster the edge is. So it's uh, if the edge is here, uh, how can I draw here? Yeah, so the 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 top line that's that's what you that's the voltage um as you the device switches on is that is that what yeah. we're looking at okay you know yeah. switch node off yep on yeah and then it's yep. on off off on off yep. okay and yeah, so you have the bounce as the as it, as it turns on and what's the what's the lower trace the lower trace here this is uh, okay this here is measured uh, on a another point yeah this here is this is a switch node that means uh it is measured here the, the, i'm not seeing your point. i'm not seeing your cursor move or anything ah wait. Oh, there we go now i can see it I so there's know. there are two traces right one is the voltage uh step up and then the lower the blue what's the that lower trace? blue is the is the is measured also the voltage uh, at the um, you see in the picture below the, yep. the big electrolytic cap yeah okay and this is this is one topic we, we we will present in several topics maybe this year is um we have the problem now that this ringing what you see on the switch node it means behind the ic you you can measure also in in the input of the ic yeah this okay is, let me say uh if the switch, if the switching is, you have this ringing on the switch, then you see it on the input as well. 
and uh, this okay. electrolytic capacitor what you see in the yeah. here be, below this uh below this near field probe yeah that has an aluminium uh, outside and this outside acts then like an antenna yeah and okay. this uh, this so you end up having the oscillation yeah. and it just doesn't damp out dampen out quick enough yeah exactly so that that, that then you have here this uh do you see my cursor now? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Uh, then it means you you have this ringing from the switch node to the V in, yeah, and then you radiate this this uh, this noise, yeah, this ringing here. So the, um, and that acts the that acts as an antenna because it's not really an antenna, right? The yeah. purpose is not an antenna. No, the purpose is not an antenna, but right. the problem is always a, me a metallic. Yeah. Trace is an antenna in case it's not a good antenna, but it could be a, a good antenna in a certain frequency range where it okay. belongs to. It's you mean antenna is uh, defined by it's also antenna is also defined by the length and it's uh, it, it is depending on which frequency you want to have or want oh, to measure. Okay. You want it. So it means you, you know, middle wave in US, yeah, they, it's a big antenna. Uh, it's long antenna yeah, right. for the uh, middle wave. And for DAB, for example, you have a small antenna because higher frequency, shorter uh, wave, uh, higher yeah. wavelength, uh, and then so on. So, this so at certain switching frequencies, then different different parts of, this, of the board or even components could all of a sudden just start acting as an antenna and emit, emit uh, yes. radiation. Okay. Exactly. This and this is this is one topic uh, what we have because when we now increasing the switching frequency for not maybe a few years ago typically four hundred kilohertz something like this yeah you go now to two hundred uh, uh, two point two megahertz for example for automotive yeah then you get other problems than you had before then because the, with the higher frequency other uh, other um, traces or other parts right. on the on the on the on the or PCB uh, radiating yeah so that that really you get there other purpose and what we see here is what we don't see in the in in the past so 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 often is really that uh, for example here this uh, this uh, electrolytic cap uh, um, capacitor acts like a, a antenna because the housing is floating it's not grounded it's floating mm. yeah Mm -hmm. And then you have this 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 ringing, and th this is the other topic. When we increase, um, it's not a good marketing, yeah, definitely, yeah. If you look at this, that's why we need to think about how we <laughs> how we make it because this ringing uh, is a high frequency noise, yeah, mm -hmm. in the frequency uh, range. Uh, it, the, the best is to have very no ringing or very low ringing, um, right. in case of voltage and it means with this higher with the new generations of our uh, ICs yeah, we we see that maybe that's not perfect so that means we need improvement and we see problems what we which we didn't see before yeah but we're looking for uh, it's always challenging every time changing in case of higher efficiency lower costs and and now we have the problem worst EMI. <laughs> so right. it, it, it's meant you have always uh, in, in Germany, you have this uh, quite often show this triangular. Yeah. You right. say you can, if you do this, then you affect the other thing as well. And, and that's, right. the, that's a big topic where we are. And that's why EMI is never, uh, uh, ne never getting uh, uninteresting. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 